How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. In today's video guys, we are going to be doing some uh, custom shop orders. So we're going to be doing what this game was originally meant to do and that is going to be customer orders. So you go in here, click orders and you just go in here and you accept whatever they throw at you. So I've already accepted the first uh, order of the day and we currently have a Ram 3500 here and I, got, I guess I haven't done this in a while, so I'll explain this to you guys. Uh, what you do is is you, they tell you something that's wrong. Let me show you here. So they tell you something that is wrong, and they say, okay, brake system needs fixing. All right. So then you go through and you need to make sure everything is at least at the minimal parts condition, which is 76%. So what I'm going to do is, is go through, do all that stuff. Uh, I'll probably test it first because that's one of the best things to do is to use your testing tools. Uh, you go through, you test it, see what, it, see how it's running, see what all the issues are. Um, it'll even tell you all the conditions of the certain parts, and then uh, you can go in and fix them. And the whole point of this is to like use the testing tools, save as much money as possible, but still manage to repair it. All right. So we're gonna send this bad boy to the test path, which is this random little cupboard-looking door right here. And what it'll do is this will be a suspension and brake test. Let me click on this. Yep. So. I'll drive it forward, get the wheels on some rollers, and then I'll press and hold the brake and it'll test and see like how well we brake. Not very great in the front. Then we'll test the rear. A little bit better, but still not at our minimal parts condition. And then we'll drive forward and this will shake the car and it'll shake the truck and uh, test the suspension here. Yep. <laughs> And then I'm uh, sure this one will be okay. Yeah. Yeah, green. I think the rear will be perfectly fine also. Yep, green. All right. So, as you can see right here, it'll tell us everything. 76% because that is the lowest. That's what the, the lowest thing on this car is going to have. Um, but as you can see here, all the brake pads, calipers, discs, all these need to be replaced. Um... So yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be a uh, full new brake job on this. So let's get this on lifter A. All right, we'll get this in there. Um, we should be able to repair the calipers and stuff like that. So we can, that's what I'm talking about, saving some money. Uh, we can save money in those certain spots. All right, so yeah, if you take a look at this, you can see this is in pretty bad shape. But this caliper back here is in good shape, so... But this pad will be bad, and this disc will be bad. Let me double check to make sure we found out all the problems. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you, we know all the parts. Are, we know all the. We found all the faulty parts um, when it lists them all, and it's not in uh, question marks. So that is what we're going for. And then one of the best reasons to do this, uh, this method to do like well, number one, it gives you a ton of XP, uh, a pretty good amount. I think the. It'll tell you, yeah, basically once you finish and complete it, it gives you a bunch of XP. Um, obviously, the harder the task, the more XP you're going to be uh, rewarded with. And then it also has a chance to give you the, uh, what do you call them, the, uh, the barn finds. And yeah, it gives a chance to give you barn finds and then I think crates also. Or it's crates, which you get barn finds from. So yeah, this is a, a pretty good thing to do. I'm probably going to do this until we hit at least like level 50. Um, just because I really want to know what that it's good to be lucky perk does So I'm uh, that's my main reason for doing these All right, let's hit the repair bench up All right, we trashed some things, but we saved most of it All right, then since this is a break only job two ventilated two disc Four pads and then I know we're gonna need a caliper, but I'm not sure which one All right, do we need a caliper? Okay, no, we'll, no, we're good. Well, we're good. We don't need anything. Okay, awesome. And then since I repaired that, I uh, I save a bunch of money on just doing the repair. Um, or I guess I won't say a bunch, but I save money, and in the long haul, it'll end up adding up. Uh, but yeah, I save money, so that is why I do the uh, do the repair, and I don't always just go and buy brand new parts, unless it says like a hundred, and then I break a piece. Uh, but other than that, now we're good. 
there we go but in other news guys as you guys didn't see uh i recently i just bought i bought a truck if you guys didn't see on the channel um i went in and i made my first video on it uh, i think planning on making like a series out of it of just me uh doing my miscellaneous uh repairs and everything on it uh, i think we'll have another video out on monday um just because i'm waiting on a camera to get in i uh if you guys didn't know, I borrowed the squad's camera, super nice uh, camera to use, um, but I can't just be borrowing his all the time, so I, uh, I went and bought my own. Um, so when that gets in here on Monday, I think I will be able to uh, get the video recorded and get that one up. Uh, hold on, let me finish this really quick. Oh, ABS module, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. So Monday, we'll have a new video out and... I got a few more parts in the mail, so I'll be uh, showing you guys those. All right, well, that's broken. Uh, I'll be showing you guys those um, when I record the video. Uh, what are we going to be doing, though, is the question. Let me type in this first. There we go. Um, I'm thinking about doing the rust um, uh, repair or just, like, fixing the rust on it uh, pretty soon because it is getting cold out so i do want to get that done as soon as possible especially with uh the snow and then all the salt in the roads and everything all right there we go awesome so this is finished complete the order and then we got 112 xp from re from completing that order so that gives us an absolute ton hold on let me accept another one here let me accept this all right we got an audi r8 and they want us well they got a lot so it's got brake problems, loud when accelerating, gears keep slipping, grinding and shaking from gearbox, so the gearbox needs to be changed. Um, so yeah, let me get this over here. We'll go for gearbox first. Uh, but yeah, no, I think for the video on Monday, guys, they're going to be doing uh, a manifold repair. So the manifold, uh, and the engine manifold has a, uh, oh, I got to take tires off, dang it. Uh, it has studs on it that go into the engine. And uh, they actually are snapped off on the right side. There's like two or three that are snapped off. So it's causing a small exhaust leak that is extremely, extremely annoying. I think I referred to it as the Hemi Tick in the last video. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. And I'll have to go in, take off that uh, exhaust piece of the manifold. Um, somehow try to get the studs out of the block i think i'm gonna have to go get a blowtorch for it because they'll be uh they'll be a pain to get out um i'll probably have to go get a blowtorch for it and then hopefully i'll be able to uh, get those out without having to like i don't have a welder so the hope is that uh that i'll be able to get those out okay there we go let me rotate here it's gonna v10 clutch so yeah, that's what we got to look forward to. I do have a ton of stuff um, I plan on doing on the truck, guys. There's just an absolute ton. Um, I think I'm going to switch all the chrome to black uh, just because the uh, the running boards, uh, what do you, or what do you call them? I don't even know what you call them. Uh, but the side step ups, those things are really, really rusty um, on the inside. So I am, uh, where's the new gearbox? There it is. I'm going to be completely like uh, sanding that down uh, and going through and just spraying it all down with a uh, underbody spray so it'll have like a textured look to it and hopefully it will stop any rust and it will no longer rust. Um, at least that is the hope that I'm going for here. Okay, we got to replace the brakes too. So yeah, we got, uh, we got quite a bit uh, loaded up um, for the for the truck uh, we do have bad brakes here and then yeah I also got to do ball joints uh, inner tie rods outer tie rods what else that's just it's just quite a few just quite a few little things here and there hmm what's that what's the recommended repair point 72 all right well then I am good to go that's 75 that's a good one all right, let me go to brakes, get two of those, get another disc. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to need for the front, so I'm not going to just go all out yet. 
Not until I know I have to. All right, that's that's done. I think this is yeah that that exhaust manifold is the thing that they want me to get out of here. All right, we'll get that out of there for them next. It's pretty easy to tell what you need to repair just even by glancing at it. Um, just because obviously the things that appear to be more rusty are going to be the things that are they're having issues with. Okay, so how are we doing so far? Okay, so the louder and accelerating will be this. So let me finish up these brake issues. And then when I finish this, 57,000. Okay, I, uh, I was going to say, I think I thought it was really close to 50. I'm not quite there yet. This will probably push me up to uh, 56,000 though. So it's about uh, about five to eight jobs per thousand XP you'll get. So hopefully here soon I'll be able to uh, start pumping out a bunch of these. Okay, so we need two new calipers. And with calipers, we usually buy these cylinders. Oh, they were in perfect condition. Whatever. Alrighty, sweet. 77 will work for us. Yes, yeah, looks like I got uh, <laughs> two pistons that I don't need. Alrighty. Now all we gotta do is take off this V10 manifold. Um, I'm gonna try and replay it, re replay it, repair it. Uh, why is it not letting me? Let me see the engine. Why is it not letting me go to the engine? Okay, I gotta, I gotta get to the engine somehow. Maybe remove the cover. Mm. I think I know why it's not low enough there we go that is really 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 annoying oh that's a lot of screws all right uh, we'll see if we can repair that uh, we don't have it okay looks like we're going to have to buy a new one it's nice though because you are usually reimbursed uh, for the money you spent. Uh, you'll make it back on the job so fast. Oh, that ABS pump is 100% bad. Alright, where was that ABS pump at? There it is. Yeah, 6%. I don't think I'm going to be repairing that. Alright, so you need to get another module, and then this will be done. Let's see. And I have tested to see what happens if you just repair the entire car. You literally don't get anything extra for doing the entire car. So only ever do what you need to do. Alright. Done, 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 done. All right, so we get thirteen thousand dollars for this order. We spent five k, um, so we basically make about eight. Oh, we are missing the engine cover, aren't we? Close that. All righty, you are good to go on your way. One hundred and twenty-five was what we got for that for XP. So yeah, it's about a hundred and ten to hundred and thirty-ish is what I would say. Uh, is the range Let's see what other jobs we got the engine is working but it's choppy the vehicle cannot be started fix suspension wow this one has got a lot change oil poor brakes We've got another Audi okay this one is a story mission I have not done all the story missions yet so this would be fantastic for me to do actually 
Okay, so let's read this guy's little biopic here. Um, hey man, it's me again, and I need your help again. Uh, my street racer, racer career is progressing nicely, and now that I've made some money from internet videos, I am ready to tweak the, my beast a little. You know when the light goes green, and I really step on it, I feel like I have to work harder than before. By the way, the car doesn't feel as comfortable as it should. Do something about the interior, see if the engine needs a tune-up. See ya. All right, so... He wants 100% condition. Um, this one doesn't really tell you exactly where you need to find things. So this is, the story, story mortars are a little bit, a little bit harder than they're supposed to be. Wow, you can't even start the engine. That is a pain. Okay, so when I can't put this on any test paths or get it tested anywhere, um, I just go to the examination tools and I'm just gonna rifle through every single tool here. Uh, we'll do the OBD scanner, the tire tread thing, uh, compression test for sure to see if any pistons are bad if pistons or rods are bad i'm gonna be mad um oh wow that is a lot um just because it will take a lot longer than uh than usual check the fuel pressure see if the pump's bad see if that's what's stopping it from starting yeah my first goal is gonna be to get this thing started okay fuel rail's bad good to know tire tread i'm pretty sure the tires are fine and we won't need to change these at all all right, how are we looking? How are we looking? Perfectly fine. 55, that's some even wear. All right, let's do the compression test. No! Okay, we got two bad pistons, so this engine is going to be coming out of this car. Looks like those are bad, too. Yeah, okay, I need to get out of this view. There we go. No. Do the electronic meter. This will show us that the ignition coils are bad. Um, probably spark plugs too. No, that does not tell us that. But if I go into examination mode, um, yeah, we, uh, we see... We see we got some bad parts here. Bad steering rack, bad exhaust. All of these are bad. Um, yeah, oh, well, that's this is going to be a lot. Okay, so. Um, I think I need to have this up on the lift. Let's see if I can take this. Okay, no, we got to get this thing up. All right. So this is going to be a full on like tear down and everything, which is gonna really suck. Uh, but you know, you gotta do it. That's why I was talking about these, geez, these uh, story missions are a lot harder, a lot more work to be done. Um, but maybe they'll, re maybe they'll reward, re reward me with like 500 XP for this. Okay. This is all right. We need to get the steering rack out of here anyways, because that is a bad part. What? We really can't. Okay, that's annoying. Got to drop this down to get to it. Where is it at? And then we'll got to put her back up. Then while that's raising, I will grab the engine crane here. Yeah, so this thing that wasn't even like starting at all, so I don't even know what this guy was on about. Engine being choppy, it's not even starting. All right, there you go. Now that's gone. Yeah, these inline fours are super annoying. You gotta lower them, bring them back up, lower them, bring them back up, uh, just to get to some just little parts. This manifold has to come off before I can remove the engine out of the engine bay. Alright, should be good. Ah, that front exhaust is still blocking me. Okay, let's see what we can do about it. Alrighty, so then... Should be good. Let me just... Oh, I gotta drop it again. Yeah, so that's like bringing it up, bringing it back down about six times now. So, uh... Jeez. Let's see. 
Oh, and I forgot with these orders you gotta drain the oil. There we go. Yeah, if you were to pull the engine out of the car without draining the oil, I think it would, it used to do it where it would charge you money. It would charge you like $100 or something. There we go. So engine is out. Um, so what does he say about it? Feels a little bit choppy. Okay. Uh, examine view. So, all right, let's get these out of here. All right, there we go. Fuel rail's gone. Get these all out of here. And then these are all bad too, okay. At least I tested it, so I don't have to tear down the entire thing to find out. All right, what about these ones? Are these ones so bad they need to be removed? Ah, yes, yes they are, okay. About the oil filter. Okay, yeah. So looks like you'll be getting a new clutch. Yeah, new clutch uh clutch plate. Alright, now let's rotate this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to tear off the uh heads, but let's find out here. Oh, I can see the bad ones from here. Yeah, like this. Oh, wait, that's good. Let me just finish testing a couple of these. Okay. Wait, which ones are bad? These two? Okay. So I'm going to have to drop the head off for that one and this one. Okay. means I'm gonna have to disassemble our timing no oh gosh this is uh, this is a big job so yeah I see why I see why the story missions are the story missions it's just so much more work than uh, pretty much anything else all right that should be enough I'm trying to minimize uh, taking everything off if I don't if I don't have to take it off, I'm trying not to take it off. Alright, that one wasn't too bad at all. Okay, so which ones were bad? Those two? Alright. Get out of there. All right, let me go double check this, see if I've found a lot of stuff. So a lot of this is going to be suspension related. Yeah, and once I get the car in there and running, I can tell exactly which suspension parts and where they are um, for me to actually go in and get them working. All right, there we go. What was the minimum repair requirement? Uh... Repair with minute part. Oh my gosh, a hundred. Really? Come on. All right, so we need two pistons, hundred. I don't know why this guy doesn't just let me completely rebuild his entire car. At this point, that'd be uh, that'd be more worth it. Just buy a new one too. The engine had the list of things that were broken. Uh, no, it was not. All right, well then that one doesn't need to be fixed. So I think if it, if it's red and it's like absolutely just destroyed and broken, then we repair it. But if it's in yellow, I think I'm good. All right. What about these camshafts? Were the camshafts bad? Yes, they were. Okay, yeah. So anything in red. 
Uh, I can't reuse, which is good to know. So I need two camshafts and a fuel rail DI. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. I just have a regular performance spark plug just chilling around. All right, I'll throw that one in there just for, uh, you know, because he's a street racer and all. All right, engine head covers still usable. about these gears oh well there he's getting some hundred gears even if he didn't need them I have quite a few leftovers so throttle belts good all right let me go grab four coils why do I have the performance ones Let's get that out of there. All right, he'll be getting some other new parts just because I'm not going to scroll all the way back to find out what it was. Yeah, this engine's in pretty, uh, pretty decent shape though for, for what it is. That should complete pretty much all of this side. Fifty five rod caps are perfectly fine. I think so. Let me double check to make sure that the rod caps weren't a broken piece. Uh I don't think so. Alright. Throttle was a broken piece though. Uh oh. Let me, let me get that throttle completely repaired. There we go. I was going to say, they would throw a fit. 92% is not good enough. Alright, give me that. Alright, did that satisfy some parts? Yes, it did. All the coils, spark plugs, camshafts, uh, pistons, good. We still gotta do all the clutch pieces, manifolds. Okay, sweet. Can I put any pieces in right now? No. Okay. All right. Let's get this bad boy back up in the air. There's not too much more for us to do here. It's gonna be a lot of putting this stuff back together. Front. Exhaust, exar, exhaust, exhaust. There we go. So I just need the front exhaust section. All right, now it's gonna start doing that stuff that it did to me before, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. What about this stuff? Any of this stuff in here bad? No. Okay. Any of the red stuff I'm trying to repair. Okay, let's get new flywheel and clutch pressure plate. Yeah. Give it the 55er. Was the clutch plate a bad piece? No, it was not. All right, sweet. So that'll work then. She's getting a new bearing and a restored gearbox. The drive axle C, I think, right? All right, yeah. Let's get another one. So I don't know if they want brakes to be done, but I'm pretty sure by, uh, oh wait, those are not bad actually. Really? 
Oh, okay. Well, if they insist on them not being bad, that is bad though. Let me check this side really quick. All right. I mean, whatever floats our boat, we'll roll with it. Uh, let me pop over here to the other side and get this starter on. Ah, of course you gotta lower it. All right, we need a manifold. We got the starter. It's just a real, regular old exhaust manifold. And we do have the cover saved. All right, so we still got some parts undiscovered. Let me load this up with some oil. Um, I'm gonna do the front thing real quick. I think I'm just gonna slap the tires in and run it on the uh, on the bench real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I know I'm gonna have to take these back off in a minute, anyways, but. Uh, All right, will it run on the test path? It will. All right, awesome. I don't even know if I can. Okay, so I don't even know if I can fit through that door. All right, let's proceed with the test. It starts up. That's what matters. I think it was the. Uh, I think it was definitely those pistons that were the things stopping it from starting up. So front brakes are perfectly fine. Awesome. So I don't actually have to mess with those at all. Now here we go, this is what's gonna get in the way. Do a little shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, front suspension, yep, that's got a couple issues we're gonna have to address. And rear may be okay. All right, well I don't think a single Part from that was one of the faulty parts. Dang, okay. Awesome, good to know. Because I was going to go through and tear apart that suspension there. But hey, now I don't have to. I just got one or two parts to do, so. Alright, get you in the air. That did test the brakes. Right? I think it tested the brakes. Yeah, okay, I see this. I see some stuff we need to do. Steering rack, some sway bars. Yeah, front the front sway bar in general. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to tear these tires off again. Alright, how's the shock absorber looking? Okay, it's looking okay. What about this? All right, she's bad. Got to go. Oh, the tie rods too. Okay, so the full sway bar and tie rod combo, all of it's got to go. Got to get all new ones in here. It's like ABS up there's fine too. Awesome, so that actually uncovers all of our issues, which is great. Um, repair that steering rack. And what was that sway bar? Was that a B or just a regular sway bar? All right, and link A, but a regular sway bar. Then we're gonna need some tie rods. Yeah, I'm excited to see how much I'm gonna get from this one. So I'll be, it'll it'll push me at least within a thousand, hundred percent. 
Yeah, it'll push within a thousand of unlocking level 50. Which is crazy to think that I've basically taken f almost... I've I've done a couple, uh, couple missions here and there, but... I've at least done about 50,000 parts taken off and putting back on. Which is incredible. There's That's just so much. Oh, awesome. All right, there we go. This last tire on, and we should be ready to send her on her way. There we go. Awesome. All right. So you should be good to go now. Only $8,000 for taking... Okay, I guess that is that is a lot, actually. Oh, wow, that did give us about 200 and some. So, oh, it also added a case. Did you guys see that? Added a, yeah, so completing like, these story missions gives you cases. Yes, it's open. Give me the barn find. Yes, we got a barn find. Awesome. Sweet. Give me that location. We'll add that one to the mix. Um, after doing a bunch of these missions, I like to go through and clean out the inventory. We have another case. I did not know that one. Barn find. Dang it. Just a couple of head pieces. Fuel tank right here, I think. Yep. Alrighty. Well, there we go, guys. So that is... Was that three? That was three story... Or one story mission and two regular customer calls. But that was three customer calls uh, done. If you guys like these uh, these these videos uh leave a comment and let me know uh down below because i will do more of these they're fun uh it's not just like doing the repetitive just like taking everything apart putting it all back together uh this is like working through like these actual problems trying to find out exactly what the issue is um but yeah i have us the sakura or uh, the sakura moon to do next it is uh yeah they say just card just stop working all right but um yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll be doing this one in the next video probably. Uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys like this? Um, also, Monday, don't forget, we are going to be doing another video um, working on my actual Ram 1500. And then don't forget, if you guys are not yet, um, follow me on Instagram to keep up to date and to see some of the little behind-the-scenes things. Um, I'll be, I'm going to get posting a lot on there, so I would highly recommend you guys uh, following me on that. I will remember to link it down below. But thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.